Hi, Robin Shades here with StreamsofEnergy.com and my guest today is Sarah Stone and Sarah has a very unique gift that she's going to share some specific stories with us and these stories have to do with pets that have crossed over that rainbow bridge and some grief as well. So Sarah, the first story I would love to hear about is Baron. You told me a little about Baron before. Yes, um, Baron's um, dad died and the neighbor was nice enough to take him in okay. instead of taking him in. And what kind of pet was Baron? A uh, beautiful German Shepherd. Ah, okay. And um, so this lady was nice enough to take him in instead of having to go to the pound after the trauma of the loss of his dad. Um, and he was doing just fine um, till about two weeks after. And he stopped eating, was mm -hmm. losing weight rapidly. He uh, wouldn't play anymore. So, um, of course, the lady was getting worried. So when she called me and I, I tuned in, I could see deep depression. I could see a lot of fuzzy white light around his heart. And I could see him crying, sitting oh. there just crying and crying, which when we do the healing on that situation, it relieves it greatly. So I just watch until he stops crying. And anyway, that's that one. But um, bottom line is, um, I obviously knew the situation, so what um, I did was I had the angel speak directly to Baron, uh, telling him where his dad is, why he's there, why he didn't go with them, that they can't be together again one day, which makes a huge difference to them. Oh, I imagine them. so, yeah. And um, also, um, he was still looking so sad that I asked the angels if they could please let Baron go talk to his dad. So ah. where I see the spirit world, um, in this area, mm -hmm. uh, quickly opened up and I saw uh, the man forming and I um, um, had the angels, they just download, they don't speak so much, let him know what exactly happened in the whole big universal picture. So he had an understanding bringing him enough peace and quiet to um, come out of the depression and immediately he started eating and playing again and he's been normal ever since. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So that healed quickly. Mm -hmm. Now, how about uh, PJ? What was PJ's story? Well, this lady called me um, from Louisiana and told me that um, two years prior she had to put her cat to sleep and she'd been really devastated about it for the solid two years. And um, when um, her her issue was she had to put the cat to sleep at 16 years old, even though he wasn't ill, because she couldn't take him where she was moving to. Oh. So it was really mm -hmm. eating her alive. Mm -hmm. And so when, what I did was I tuned into the cat. I got every characteristic and um, personality trait and some of the favorite things he loved to do so that she knew I had the right cat. Um, and we actually asked the kitty was there a message for his mom, which was he loved her dearly. dearly. He actually preferred to do it this way than go live with someone else. Um, and um, he's doing fabulous. They're very, very close bond. She was worried now that she has four animals in the house. Is he mad about that? But he was specific about knowing that he still had his place in her heart and nobody took his place and that oh. was true very strong bond so they'll oh, meet each good. other again yeah that's awesome sure. mm -hmm. that's awesome now one of the cool things also sarah is that you're not only able to t tap into communicate with animals but also people when you yes. when you have a need to i guess mm -hmm. and honestly it's just a different dimension um, we don't really die, we leave this body behind, but it's just a whole other, that's home over there. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, I was sitting with a client one time discussing her um, animal situations, and she got a text that her, grand, her aunt just died. So I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, so I took a sip of my coffee, I thought, well, <laughs> you want to check on her? That's and she awesome. said, that'd be great. Um, so we looked, and here she was, near her body, but standing still. But she was in white light, which was, is a good sign. So I said, angels, tell her where you are. She was standing all alone, and instantly she turned and said, oh, there you are. <laughs> and then they were all together, and it dawned on me. She had met these angels before, in dreams uh -huh. and right. um, in other states of mind, for sure. Because she was happy to see them, 
and then they got her all ready to go, which not to be too lengthy, but that's a whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then they trek off to the tunnel. And by the next day, they had reached the tunnel and gone through to get to the other side. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. Now, have you ever had an incident where maybe things didn't go quite that smoothly when someone was crossing over? Did you ever have something unusual? Um, I could say suicides, um, also drug and alcohol addict, when they die from these situations, it's not as uh, dying friendly, if you want to call it. Okay. Um, because I had a gal call me, her dog stopped being friendly, wouldn't get on the sofa with them, wouldn't get on the bed with them anymore, um, would go outside and come in and wet on the floor right in front of her. Oh, wow. right, so, um, not knowing anything going on in this lady's life, I said, all right, I'll go to her. So I tuned in. And I could see the dog was very irritated and very angry um, about something and a very controlling nature as well. Mm. So this is how he was telling her this is unacceptable, whatever it was. So <laughs> I said, you've got to tell me what's going on in the household. She says, everything's fine. Um, I said, no, there's something going on with you that's really intense because this dog is super empathic and he's picking up your feelings. And she said, well, my mom's second anniversary of her death is coming up very soon, and I've been devastated about it ever since she died. I said, okay, well, I'm going to take care of that for you. I had to do healing work on the lady to help the dog. And what I saw was a lot of grief. Um, the kidneys were um, showing needing some help on a young woman. So. Um, I decided to tap and see where's the mother, and I was really shocked because I saw her just climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing the side of this mountain. You couldn't see the top, you couldn't see the bottom, and um, I said, "Angels, please get in there and help this lady," yeah. um, because I was stunned, and nothing happened. I said, "Father God, please come in, take this lady by the hand. She's lost," and. They did come get her. They took her to another place where she's no longer climbing, thank goodness. <laughs> um, but I was like, why would that happen? Right. And I, I asked the gal, I called her up, I said, what happened to your mom? And she said, well, she had years and years of drug and alcohol abuse. Mm -hmm. And her father had ties to the mafia, which she had apparently a oh, yeah. hand in as well. So um, that is the truth. Um, it's not mm -hmm. cool to die from drug overdoses wow. and at all. It's not as easy. So, mm. Otherwise, crossing is very, very beautiful, but there are just some very different cases. I've got a lot of them um, <laughs> wow. of, of what happens. But normally, you live a good life. It's a beautiful afterlife. And, um, well, that's I'm looking just forward awesome. to it when it comes. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Sarah. And if you'd like to contact Sarah, her email is sarahstone2, the number 2, at gmail.com. Thank and thank you for your time, Sarah, and thank you for listening. We're on Facebook, too. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you.